Well, hey, Common Place Church. Welcome to week seven, our Seeking Together uh, time that we've just come together as a church, seeking the Lord for wisdom, praising His name. Uh, it's just, it's just been really incredible to see what God has done through just these last seven weeks alone. Um, we've seen Him do incredible things through the life of this church, but this past seven weeks, just so many powerful moments of just seeing His provision, His protection, His love, His guidance, His wisdom. Uh, it's been incredible. So we are concluding our week uh, here, week seven, our final week of this time that we've put aside. But what I want to just be clear is that we're not concluding our spiritual disciplines in the time that we have set aside, uh, that we, we practice throughout the week. So things like, yes, we have uh, fasting that we made for Mondays. We can continue to do that. It doesn't have to be Monday. It can be sometime during the week. Uh, solitude, time of solitude that we did on Saturdays. Let's, let's continue to do that. Does it need to be Saturday? Whatever works for your schedule, but that we have these moments, these rhythms. But the one thing that we do want to continue, where we've seen a lot of fruit um, it, intentionally together as a church, is our Wednesday night prayer uh, on Zoom. So we're going to continue to run that as long as the Lord wills, and I would encourage you to, to join us uh, on Wednesday night. If you're free at 7 o'clock, be a part of what we're doing here uh, through Wednesday night Zoom sessions and prayer. It's been incredibly fruitful. So this week we're going to look to our um, just time of praise. We're just going to end our time, the final week with praise. And we're going to go to Psalm 145 and just read a little bit of, of just the psalmist, the praise of David here. It says, I will extol you, Lord, you, my God and my King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever. Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. That last part right there, unsearchable. We can continue to say, God, you're so good. You're so good. You're so good. It's, it's just, we'll never even grasp the reality of how good he truly is. And I think that's, that's encouraging, right? If you think about things that good things in your life, you're kind of like, oh, there's a plateau. I know, I know that's good, right? But you think about God, his goodness is, is way beyond compare. And, and I think that should encourage us that this is the God whose message of salvation of hope is, is that's what this church is proclaiming that God and last thing I just want to share was there's a just a song that really hit my heart um, it's called to God be the glory and it's an old hymn and I just want to share with you guys if you guys know it sing along in the video now you don't do that but take a look and, and you can seek it up it's uh so it goes as to God be the glory great things he has done so so loved he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life and atonement for sin and open the life gate that all might go in. It says, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory of the great things he has done. Um, just wanted to leave you with that incredible encouragement, that incredible praise uh, to the Lord in all things. So hope you guys have a good week and see you Wednesday nights. Let's do it.